Welcome to Supernova. Virtual reality, or VR, has become an increasingly popular technology, allowing us to escape into digital worlds that can be incredibly realistic and immersive. But beyond the thrill of gaming and entertainment, VR raises profound philosophical questions. Do these digital worlds have real consequences? Can our actions in VR impact our lives in the physical world? Join us as we delve into the philosophy of virtual reality and explore the ethical implications of this rapidly evolving technology. Virtual reality has come a long way from its early days as a niche technology. Today, VR is being used for a wide range of applications, from gaming and training simulations to social interactions and therapeutic interventions. With advancements in VR hardware and software, users can now immerse themselves in highly realistic and interactive digital environments that can feel almost indistinguishable from the physical world. But as we spend more time in these virtual realms, we are faced with philosophical questions about the nature of reality and the consequences of our actions within these digital worlds. One of the fundamental questions raised by virtual reality is the nature of reality itself. What is real? In VR, we can see, hear, and even touch objects that are not physically present. Our senses can be manipulated, and we can experience things that defy the laws of physics. But does this make them any less real? Some philosophers argue that reality is subjective, shaped by our perceptions and experiences. In VR, we can create our own realities, and our actions within these digital worlds can have real consequences on our emotions, attitudes, and behaviors. Another philosophical question raised by virtual reality is the morality of our actions within these digital realms. In VR, we can make choices, interact with others, and engage in activities that can have ethical implications. For example, we can choose to help or harm virtual characters, steal virtual objects, or create virtual environments that reflect our values or beliefs. But do these actions have moral significance? Should we be held accountable for our actions in VR? Even though they are not physically real, these questions challenge our conventional understanding of morality and raise ethical dilemmas that we must grapple with as VR becomes more prevalent in our lives. As VR becomes more immersive and pervasive, it is increasingly blurring the line between the digital and physical worlds. Virtual actions can have real-world consequences. For example, in VR social interactions, we can form relationships, create memories, and develop emotional attachments. These experiences can affect our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors even after we take off the headset. Moreover, as VR is used for training, therapy, and other applications, the outcomes of virtual experiences can impact our performance and well-being in the physical world. Additionally, legal and ethical issues arise when virtual actions cross over into the real world, such as virtual property ownership, virtual crimes, and virtual representations of ourselves. As virtual reality continues to advance and become more integrated into our lives, the philosophical questions it raises become more pertinent. Do digital worlds have real consequences? Can our actions in VR impact our lives in the physical world? The answers to these questions are complex and multifaceted, challenging our perceptions of reality, morality, and accountability. As we navigate the evolving landscape of virtual reality, it is crucial to carefully consider the ethical implications and societal consequences of our actions within these digital realms. The morality of virtual actions refers to the ethical implications of the choices and actions that individuals take within virtual reality VR, environments. As VR becomes more immersive and realistic, users can engage in various activities and interactions that may have moral significance, even though they are conducted in a digital realm. The morality of virtual actions raises complex questions that challenge our traditional understanding of morality and ethics. One key question is whether virtual actions should be considered morally significant. Some argue that since virtual environments and experiences are not physically real, the actions within them do not carry the same moral weight as actions in the physical world. However, others argue that the impact of virtual actions on users' emotions, attitudes, and behaviors can have real-world consequences, and therefore should be considered morally significant. Another question is whether users should be held accountable for their virtual actions. Should individuals be held responsible for their choices and behaviors in VR, even though they may not have physical consequences? For example, if a user chooses to harm virtual characters, steal virtual objects, or engage in other morally questionable activities within a VR environment, 
should they be held morally responsible for those actions. Furthermore, the issue of cultural norms and values within virtual environments also comes into play. Virtual worlds often have their own sets of rules, norms, and ethical standards that may differ from those in the physical world. Users may be faced with moral dilemmas when navigating these virtual environments and making choices that align or conflict with their own personal beliefs and values. The morality of virtual actions also raises questions about the potential desensitization and normalization of unethical behaviors. If individuals repeatedly engage in morally problematic actions in VR without facing real-world consequences, could it impact their moral judgment and behavior in the physical world? Ultimately, the morality of virtual actions is a complex and evolving topic that requires thoughtful consideration of the unique ethical challenges posed by virtual reality. It calls for a nuanced understanding of the potential moral implications of choices and actions within virtual environments and prompts discussions on how virtual actions should be evaluated and addressed from an ethical standpoint. Real-world consequences refer to the tangible and measurable effects or impacts that result from actions or events occurring in the physical world. These consequences can encompass a wide range of outcomes, including social, economic, environmental, and personal effects that have real, observable effects on individuals, communities, and the world at large. Real-world consequences can be both positive and negative. Positive real-world consequences may include things like economic benefits, social improvements, environmental sustainability, and personal well-being. For example, a successful business venture may generate jobs and economic growth, a community development project may improve the quality of life for local residents, or an environmental conservation effort may protect natural resources and ecosystems. On the other hand, negative real-world consequences may include harmful effects on individuals, communities, or the environment. These may arise from actions such as pollution, deforestation, social injustices, health hazards, or other negative impacts that can have long-lasting and far-reaching consequences. For instance, environmental pollution may result in ecosystem degradation, health problems for local communities, and economic costs for society at large. Real-world consequences can also be indirect and complex, with ripple effects that are difficult to predict or fully understand. For example, advancements in technology, such as the use of social media, may have unintended consequences on mental health social relationships, and societal norms, which may impact individuals and communities in profound and sometimes unexpected ways. When discussing virtual reality, the concept of real-world consequences pertains to the potential impacts that actions or events within virtual environments may have on the physical world. While virtual reality is a digitally simulated environment, the choices and actions taken within VR can still have real-world implications. For instance, Virtual actions that promote discrimination, violence, or unethical behavior in VR may contribute to the normalization or reinforcement of such behaviors in the physical world, leading to negative real-world consequences. Considering and evaluating the real-world consequences of actions and events is crucial for ethical decision-making and responsible behavior in both virtual and physical realms. It involves considering the potential short-term and long-term impacts on various stakeholders and the environment, and making informed choices that align with ethical principles and values to mitigate negative consequences and promote positive outcomes. Thanks for watching. We will see you in another one.